This is a perfect movie for parents. It teaches you how not to raise your kids to be complete fucking dumbasses. Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Did you open the truck? 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 I'll be honest, the only reason I really was checking this movie out is because of the director, John Watts. He's going to be the director of the new Spider-Man movie, and as you can see, I'm a huge nerd, and that's why I wanted to check this out. And I'm kind of glad I did. It's a very weird movie. The movie really only has about six actors, and the biggest one is going to be Kevin Bacon. He is kind of the lead character, or the children, which are two unknown child actors who can't really act because they're only like eight or ten years old in this movie. They are the main characters, or Kevin Bacon, depending on if you more into the antagonist or the protagonist. Either way, the movie starts off with these two kids stealing a cop car. Title of the movie. It's magical. After they steal the cop car, you kind of get hints of the backstory, which is what I like. This is one of the things I really love. You don't really get a full story here. A lot of it's left up to your imagination. Kevin Bacon is shown basically burying a body while these kids steal the cop car. And that's all I'm going to give away in terms of the story. Everything else would be spoiler. Um, so, in the end, the movie really worked on two levels for me. One, the backstories. Everything is told with little hints of what these people are up to or what their life is. You don't ever get to see the kids' families, but they're mentioned. You don't ever understand Kevin Bacon's background, how deep he is into these bad crimes despite him being a cop. Um, but you kind of get ideas, and I'm not going to spoil it, but things that they show that you're like, huh. This guy is probably a piece of shit. Another thing I really liked is the shots and the direction of what they make this movie look like. It's very creepy. It's it's The, the movie is kind of like a mix of suspense, thriller, and just creepiness and weirdness. It's a very... It's shot in a rural area, so it's very out there. There's like nobody on these roads, and you're just kind of wondering, what the hell? Uh, I live in Florida and I'm still like, what the hell are they living in? And it really brings the atmosphere so much higher. It elevates the movie when these shots are just so weird and creepy and these kids are, are trapped by themselves against these crazy people. On top of that, what I didn't like, and there's a couple of things. One, the acting for the children isn't that good. Kevin Bacon is probably the best actor in this movie, as well as the guy from Broadwalk Empire, who I forgot his name. Um, that's about it. Everybody else is just okay. Everybody else. Well, there's only two other actors. There's one person on a dispatch who you never see. You just hear her voice. And then you have another big fat lady who is in the movie for like 10 minutes. The kids are like the protagonists of the movie. And they're not that good at acting. So that kind of takes away from it. Which sucks. Another thing is a lot of this movie is coincidence. Now, I'm okay with coincidence. A lot of horror movies use it. A lot of action movies use it. It's a coincidence that somebody has stumbled up front of me. Boom, you're dead. Ooh, how did you get there? Oh, coincidence. Nobody really sounds like that. I don't know why I did that. But it, it's really, really hard to suspend my disbelief at one person that keeps showing up at exact time and nobody else on the road. It just really kind of bugged me. Something in my head. Also, and what I meant by my beginning passage, is these kids are fucking stupid. By eight years old, I knew not to do certain things, no matter what. I mean, I was a pretty bad kid. One time I, I threw ice at a car. Don't do that, kids. I stole a turtle, too, once. Enough of my crime days, oh. And these kids are just dumb. They're dumb. They're dumb as hell. They do stupid shit like hold a gun to their face. Why isn't this working? I get that they're kids, but holy shit, at eight years old, I knew not to put a gun in my face and go... Oh, huh. there's a hole. What if I press the button? And I knew what safety was. I don't know. Maybe I was raised on movies like Alien and Die Hard, and I knew not to put a gun to my face because they do this, boom, and kill people, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, the kids were just so stupid in this movie. I, it just it frustrated me. Like, everything they did, I just wanted to be like, yo, you kids, stop. Where are your parents? Where's Eminem when you need him to blame the parents? But overall, it was a, a, a very unique movie. It, it's its own movie. That's the, that's the ending to this review is it's its own type of movie. It's very weird. It's very creepy in a lot of ways, but it works in that advantage. It makes it unique. Um, so overall, should you see Cop Car? I don't know. I really don't. It, it's that kind of movie where you kind of suggest it. Like you want to see something different? Yeah, check out Cop Car. You know, 
but is it a, a, an amazing movie? Uh, not really. I, I am excited for the director to take on Spider-Man because I like the way he shoots the movie. It's very weird and awesome, and I love the creepiness. They can definitely do some great villain work in Spider-Man movies. But as far as the the story, it, it leaves it open-ended, and I usually love that. And in this movie, it's just like, ugh. I think my wife liked it a little bit more than me. So there you go. So overall, Cop Car. I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. It's right in the middle. Watch it if you're interested in this type of weird, creepy movie, but everybody else who kind of doesn't care about Kevin Bacon anymore, how do you get canceled with good ratings on Fox? I don't understand. Anyway, it's okay. Check it out if you like. Remember to comment below if you've seen it. Tell me what you think. I'm interested to see what other people think of this movie. And of course, if you do like my video, like it, subscribe. That way I know that you like the video reviews, the movie reviews. I'll keep making them. And that's it. Whitey out. Where's Peace. the song?